Thank you, Mrs. Hardy. What can I get for you today? Hello. Can I do the um, Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito, please? Ma'am, we're currently out of that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Guys, I'm at Aldi's. I haven't been here in three weeks. So, let's see what they got, bro. So, we're going to start with the newest stuff. They have some St. Patrick's Day stuff. Neat, neat, neat. They have some wild art. They have some hanging basket planters. Those are cute. Oh, they got a plant grow light. So this is like plant week, I reckon. A watering can. All plant animal planters. That's cute. The um, mats. They have reefs. They have garden gloves on serving tray. This is cute. And it's light too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they have a circle one. And they have a square one. That's really cute. Speckle trays. These are heavy. Got little feet on them. Those are cute. They have an ottoman. They have a safe. I got some planners. I got candles. I have a LED work light. I have a tool basket with the tools inside. Ooh. 84 piece tool set. I have one of those. Mine is pink. They have an oversized blazer. Oh, I got a soap dispenser. This is really cute. So they got like a, what color would this be? Like a gold and then a black. Some mats. I think I like this mat, but it's spring. $12.99. I like the core of these material mats. I like this one actually. I think I like this. Welcome. I'm trying to see what this one say. Oh, that's cute. Hello, sunshine. I like that little one though. Let's see. That's some laundry bags. These are, oh, a hat washer. That's neat. Let me see. I have some scrub gloves. Ooh, wait. Those are neat. They have these clear organizers. And then they come with labels. That's so neat. That's neat. I like it. They have narrow bins with the labels as well. Okay. Oh, and then they have a um, Lazy Susan organizer. That's neat. So this is like cleaning stuff. The scrubbers. Those are neat with the handles on it. That's neat. I got this Dawn Power Wash. I've actually been wanting to try this. You spray it on. That is $5. We've seen the mats. They have the downy, um, what are they called? This bamboo baskets. Okay. That's neat. $10. have bathroom mats. They have water tumblers. Is that a tumbler? I don't know what that is. Um, okay. What are these? Oh, these are kind of nice. These are containers, but they're like rubbered. That's neat. They they look they feel really sturdy and really really uh, durable. A okay. utensil set, fifteen dollars. Oh my, they look a little tacky with the colors on it like that. They have an air mattress for forty dollars. A window vacuum for twenty dollars. What is this do? A chargeable electric fresh water. Okay, so clean the windows. Oh, these are cute. Serving trays. Now they get some my type of stuff here, okay. Serving platters for $10. Those are nice. Mm. I 
got, oh, I got a stick vacuum for $70. Some velvet hangers for $17. I feel like they had this stuff last time we were here. The organizer, bag organizer, rice cooker. It's just a little chopper, I don't know. I think I might actually need one of these. Hold on, I need one with the instructions. Oh, this is a string pool. Girl, what? I guess. It's $5. Oversized serving bowl. Oh, this is nice. It's really nice. $15. They got frying pans. A baking dish. These are cute. Oh, oh, oh. Stoneware. I like this. This blue. Oh, they got a black one. Hold on, hold on. Why is it black? Is that navy or black? That's navy. Uh, what's this? Coffee towel? Silicone utensil sets, which I would actually love. But I would like a black or a gray one. They ain't got it. Got a pancake um, pan with different shapes on them. Immersion blender with chopping bowl. This is nice. Like the O5, so you have to see a little more. Immersion blender with chopping bowl, a couple of the bowl, the little blender, and a little whisker. That's kind of neat. Easily blends, chops, crushes, and purees. Perfect for all chopping, mincing, and grinding needs. Oh, easy to attach to whisk eggs and emulsify vinegar eggs. Oh, wait, hold on. Y'all know I love these rib glasses. Oh, wait. Oh, these are blue, though. I thought they were black, gray. Ugh, I don't like that. That's what they look like. <laughs> that would have been so cute. Oh, I was wanting this. I was hoping they still had, they literally have one left. I know because I like do pancakes a little bit every now and then. And instead of like I got a big griddle, but I don't want to like have to pull out the big griddle every time. So I love that this is reversible, so I can like grill chicken and stuff and get those kind of grill marks on them. And then the other side is smooth. I can do my pancakes and bacon and eggs and all that. I think I'm gonna get this. I don't remember how much it was, but I'll let y'all know. So, I went to Walmart today and I got these new snacks. So, I got the sweet and spicy honey lays and the one of these rainbow brownie kisses. I'd be iffy about getting like new snacks and stuff because it's just like you gotta buy a bag of them. And if you don't like them, you've wasted quite a bit of money, right? So, oh girl, what shall we try first? Let's do the sweet and spicy honey lays. I was so glad I found this smaller bag. This bag was $2.53. So, let's see how they taste. Okay. Ew, ho, ho, ho. It's giving honey barbecue, but I can really smell the honey. Just look at it. It don't look like, it look like regular Lay's, honestly. So, let's see. Mmm. So, these taste just like 
the sweet southern honey barbecue chips exactly like those they just don't look like them but they taste like them uh, instantly you get that sweet you get that honeyness honeyness <laughs> You get that sweetness, you get that honey. You get to the back of the throat, you start tasting like a little spice, a little kick. It's a nice balance. I like it. Try the rainbow brownie kisses. So it's the kisses. It has like little rainbow pieces, little like skittles inside, and then like a brownie filling on the inside. So. It's like a cosmic brownie dupe <laughs> in like Hershey Kiss form. That's the only thing with this, y'all. This costs $4.84. $5 for a bag of Hershey Kisses. Like, what? <laughs> um, and I'm definitely like not just going to sit and eat these. Let's see how good they are, but... I'll probably um, take on the word and let my coworkers um, eat them. So this is what they look like. Oh, cute. And they have rainbows on them. You can see the little dots in them. All right, let's see if I can bite it. Hmm, interesting. Okay. 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 Milk chocolate with brownie flavored creme and colored sprinkles. Okay. So it's like a cream. It's a creme that's brownie flavored. I thought it was actually like br like a brownie inside. But yeah, it, def it definitely tastes like a filling more so than like that brownie texture. So, okay, cool. I've never been a big fan of sprinkles, but you do get that crunch, you get that different texture. But crunching, crunching on sprinkles, not really a fan of. But y'all, honestly, other than the crunch from the sprinkles, <laughs> the whole brownie flavored creme, it's like you see it, but like it really just tastes like a Hershey, like a regular Hershey's kiss. Chips. After a while, start giving like a Thai chili taste. Mmm. All right. I got me a Chipotle bowl. No, it's Chipotle, but they barely closed it good. It came right off. Mm -hmm. This is literally. One of my favorite meals. All right, y'all. We are back home. Today has been... I don't know. <laughs> I pretty much got up around 12.30. I didn't get out till about 3.30. Um, I did like four food reviews. And I went to Ulta. So let's see what we got at Ulta. And I got this anti chafe stick. So I'm gonna see how this works. Um, it's with shea butter and oatmeal. Kaleido, Kaleido oatmeal. Um, so you know you have like your like my thighs kind of rubbed together, and like my bra like rubs on like my stomach a little bit. It's safe for sensitive skin. I gotta make sure like stuff is safe for sensitive skin. Cause my skin is my skin is really sensitive and some of these products have like crazy chemicals and stuff in it. So you just always wanna be sure of like what you're buying, you know what I mean? So let me see. Put on my breasts. <laughs> Definitely gotta oh, okay. Yeah. It makes it glide really well.
Perry Poo. Okay. All right. Next couple things I got from Elf. Did I? Yeah, they're all from Elf. They're lip products. I am an avid watcher of I Am Chelsea Janae's channel. I'll try to link her channel below, but she's always like recommend, like she's never gatekeeping, okay? She's always finding good products and recommending them and stuff. And I'm like, oh, girl, I gotta get it. Um, a couple things she put me on was this Aveeno Oil Mist. 10 out of 10, I love it. Um, <laughs> another thing is this Vaseline All Over Balm. This helps to like, you want your spray, you want your like perfume to like stick, you know, you rub this on, give your perfume like a base, rub it and then spray it and it'll get, I always use it with my lips so. <laughs> I give it right here by the couch because I'm always just putting it on my lips, right? So I said, girl, let me get some actual lip stuff. Now I gotta wipe this off. So, she has had these Squeeze Me Lip Balms from e.l.f. This is in the color Grape or Scent Grape. They only had like Honeydew and the yellow kind. I'm like, mm, let me get Grape. So, it is like a tinted lip. So, let's see. Let's get real close. It does give a little tint. I was like, I definitely don't want a green or a yellow tint, so I'm gonna do grape. And it smells like grapes. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was how much was this look like? Yeah. Oh, the anti anti chafe was twenty dollars. Why did I pick this up? <laughs> what made me get that? Anyways, um. The grape was $4. And these last two are the lip oils. And these were $8. Mm, so I got Rose Envy and Jam Session. These were the only two colors left. Of course, I wanted like the clear one and like the lighter pink one because these also have a tint as well. So we're gonna try these right quick. These come in the cutest little things. I'm like, are they for sure this is lip oil? Cause this look like a like a <laughs> liquid lipstick or something. But yeah, these are super cute. Super, super cute. Okay. I don't like that out. Still smell like grape. Alright, let's try the what's this? Rose Envy Lip Oil. It's not giving oil, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like the scent too much. It's definitely giving chemical on the scent. I like this um, doe foot. Too cute. It's curved. I guess it'll go like that. That's too cute. Okay. I can see a little pink tint though. She's cute. It's definitely giving like tinted lip though. It's not really giving lip oil. I'm not sure what that's about. Jam session. Let's see and get into this brown. Look at that. Mm. It do give a brown. Okay, I like the little tint. This would definitely be cute with some makeup. Yeah, I don't care for the scent. Mmm. 
pretty much all of these are lip gloss. <laughs> pretty much. Even a lip balm. Like, balm is like, to me, this is a lip balm. This is a lip gloss. But I like this. I think this makes my lips look juicier. And I don't really care for like, it feels like you have to use a whole lot to even like achieve the glossy look. Especially with the lip oil, I had to dig like four or five times. <sighs> I guess this is like this big doe foot, right? But it's only product like right on the tip of it. That's annoying, so. <sighs> I guess you can see why um, <laughs> I don't really care to do makeup anymore. Cause it can be a little frustrating. It can, it really can. So all right, y'all, I think she's a winner. The Squeeze Me lip balms are definitely a winner. Um, I'd recommend these. Okay, bye. Making my lip body butter. I made this at least once a some more. Everybody just loves it. So, yeah. Still loving my stand mixer. Yeah. We're here. Let's see what they got this one. All right, y'all. I think this was in here last time, but they have the seasonal St. Patrick's Day stuff. They have some toddler shoes, kid stuff, pictures, little air filters. More kids stuff. A wireless car charger. That's neat. I always say if it's not from the brand, like I have an iPhone, so if it's not from Apple, it's gonna be iffy. Um, car vacuum. I have one of these actually. I have one of these I got from Amazon. Some cute coasters. Oh, these are cute. I have a butter dish. The utensils dish. That's cute. I like this actually. I don't need more stuff on my counter, honestly. Oh, these are always good. Trunk organizers, car seat covers. Turning wheel covers, so this is for car stuff. Um, tablecloth. Spatula set. This is actually neat. Y'all know I love my good little spatula, so. Hmm, I might get this. Oh, they have lights. Ooh. I wish they had a gray, but that'll be good for gray, man. I have stock pots. Oh. How pretty that is. That's so pretty. Ooh, $20? Ooh. I'm debating. What y'all think? I have these cute casserole sets. Ooh, it come with two. That's neat. Or a tea kettle. I like this little pattern. This little spring pattern. These glass pictures. They're cute. Um, what is this? Ooh. Portable travel and game table. That's neat. Okay. They have heater behind me. So strainer. This is so cute though. Hmm. How much is this? That's the tablecloth. That's the casserole set. That's the. But this just looks so aesthetically pleasing, right? So it has two bacon dishes and then two lids. I, I definitely think I'm gonna start getting stuff that come with lids. That way I ain't gotta use like. You know, aluminum foil, or plastic wrapping it and covering it. Now, so. I like it. Right, <laughs>
Go to the garage. I do this every week, but this calling is crazy. Okay, so I might have to cut through it every day. <laughs> okay, so that's what I might start doing. All right. I pretty much got a membership, twenty dollars a month. I can come every single day, at least once a day. So now that this pollen is coming, I'm definitely about to take advantage of that. Cause the yellow does not go good with the blue, you know. Okay, <laughs> so here we are for dinner. I wanted to do some spring rolls, so I got some scrumps, some imitation crab. Okay. Some cucumbers, cilantro, and lettuce. I have these um, spicy noodles as well. I'm gonna put some of that in one of them. But I got this cute little spring roll thingy from um, Amazon when I was in my making spring roll bag. <laughs> so you put the spring roll wrappers in the front here and then it has the water that you have to dip it in. So I'll show y'all that right quick. Dip it. Dip it slow. No, drop it low. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, so you dip it. I like putting it on this plate. Let's make one right quick. So we got our lettuce. And I always break the stem a little bit so it can move a little better. So the lettuce right there. And then I do two cucumber. That's good. That's good. A little um crab. So that's that. I'll do some cilantro. I actually like chopping it up. I feel like you get the flavor out of it when you chop when it's chopped up. So I just do feel like chopping it and making a mess. I'll just do it by hand here. Also, cilantro does not digest well either. It's kind of like corn, if you will. <laughs> All right. So I like this plate because it helps me lift up this part right here. So either way, we're going to start to roll. Tuck, tuck and roll, pretty much. And then you know how people have like the pretty shrimp on the outside. Put it right there, tuck it right under there, and then you roll. Tuck the sides if you can. If not, don't even worry about it, okay? And there you have it. <laughs> cute little spring roll. Isn't that so cute? Okay, that's so cute. Okay, let's do one with the ramen. All right, we're dipping her. Take it out. So we're gonna do some lettuce with this as well. I think I'm gonna take some of the stem off so I can fold it a little better. We're gonna do some cucumbers. I think cucumbers would be good with this. Uh, I think I'll put that right there. Let's get some spicy ramen in here. I'm gonna put some, let me do some cilantro too. I have to put that down. Okay. I think that's good, right? A little more. And I didn't put, I didn't want it like too, too spicy. So I didn't put all of the, um, all of the stuff in it. All of the little spicy sauce in it. I just did a little bit. All right. So we'll tuck. Oh, this one I can fold. I like this. There you have it. I just want ripping. And there's that one. Y'all, I still have my tree. <laughs> I still have my tree. 
I was going to like take off the Christmas stuff and do like a um every holiday, like decorate the tree for each holiday. But girl, <laughs> I said, if I get stuff and decorate for every holiday, I'm going to have so much stuff. I don't have room to put this stuff. <laughs> like, come on now. So, I had none of it. But anyways, the shrimp and crab. And the chili sauce. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. 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 Oh. It's good. Yeah, it's so good. Um, you told me that was... Mm. I haven't had this in so long. It's just so refreshing. And we're back. So, I got some desserts. <laughs> I've had these sitting out for probably about... 10 minutes so i wanted to try them y'all know a while back we tried the true food is that true yeah so they had the raspberry and then they had the banana with the peanut butter and the chocolate but this time they had the reese's i didn't even see the true food in walmart this time i only seen these um the blueberry ones will be different so let's try this one first. Because I feel like we tried the other ones already. Just in a different brand. So it'll probably kind of taste similar. But these. They are blueberries enrobed in white cream and milk chocolate. Mm. So the brand is Hershey's. You know Hershey's made some good chocolate. Okay. Here goes one. Mm. I think I need to let it thaw out a little more. I can't really taste nothing but the milk chocolate. I'm sorry. I can't, I don't get a blueberry flavor. I'm just tasting the skin of the blueberry. And it's not a pleasant taste. <laughs> Reese's. Bananas. Enrobed. <laughs> and milk chocolate and Reese's peanut butter chips. Peanut butter chips. Yeah. Here we are. She's big. Oh. Mm -mm. The chocolate on this is much harder. You barely. It's like once it gets to the back of your throat, then you start tasting the peanut butter. I want to taste the peanut butter instantly, you know what I mean? Last ones. Are these, the raspberry ones and the true fruit, the true fruit brand were my favorite. They were so good. And I like the banana, peanut butter, and milk chocolate one in the true fruit brand as well. These, I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna try to. Let's see. These don't even look as pretty as the other ones do. Look how, like, they're not even cute for real. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not even a big fan of raspberries as a fruit by themselves. But frozen with the white chocolate and the milk chocolate, 
that's good. And that tart with a little bit of sweetness. It's juicy. Mm. You can taste that milk chocolate. Mm. If you think about trying any of these, don't sign up. <laughs> if you do, get the raspberry ones. Other than that, don't waste your money. Girl, these things are $7. They're like $6.97. <sighs> come on, like, come on now. I spent, what, like $21 on these, and the other, there won't but one that was good. Girl, I mean, sooner than later, I'm going to call it a night, okay? Because I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. See y'all later.